just petty oh, thing. Prem, if Prem, Prem does that, Prem's like, he needs to be lowercase. <laughs> so I wonder how Tuna is gonna hit out Kirby's uh, aerials and like normals. Like, if you can contest Kirby's normals, he's kind of like, he's slow, and if you can contest his normals, he's, he struggles. But Lucario, I think only he only has like down tilt. He can't grab. Mukran's uh, super good at using. That's that's right. right. Mu is really good at uh, using his uh, Kirby's aerials as to approach and also the cross up shields in general. Um, especially with Fair. That, that's a general. That's a general yeah, he Kirby loves thing. using Fair. Yeah. It's just also his feet. Kirby's feet are invincible, so back air is super safe on uh, in a lot of cases. I also like how Mu just plays incredibly intense. Yeah. He always, he always leans forward. Yeah, he, he leans into it even though it's like Kirby. It feels like a slow action for a minute, but then it's but then you see him just like violently shaking every now and then. I don't, I don't know how Tuna's gonna approach this. Like I think he is being overwhelmed by the aerial. He just doesn't know the actual like proper out, like the proper spacing, because the fair is actually quite disjointed. Yeah, the fair is incredibly disjointed, but it also has a a little bit of end lag. I don't know if you can bear on the shield. Can, uh, you can crouch after, and most people can't grab Kirby crouching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I don't know if can Lucario grab Kirby though. Lucario has a pretty, pretty low profile, so he probably could. I mean, we're talking from the Zelda main's perspective, though, where you have to pivot and grab. So. Yeah, I mean, a lot of people have to do it though, like Marv, Sheik, Ganon. Oh, even Marth. Wow. Yeah, even Marth. Goodness, that's rough. That's rough. Yeah, he's really low. Mm -hmm. Okay, he's got the specials. Oh man, that's still not gonna kill even at a yeah. hundred. I think he might switch to Yoshi. I just, well, he was going Yoshi earlier when they uh, before he could come off to play Boom. Oh, his ghost didn't go so well. Yeah, because like he likes playing Yoshi versus Floaties. Mm. He, he says he doesn't have like a lot of kill comfort with Lucario. Yeah, I can see that. It's it's hard to get. And just I think to... he's actually struggling a lot with these aerials. Using the strats to get aura from the balloon. I respect that. Who also loves using oh that ledge steal though. Uh, I was gonna say Mu loves doing that uh, off the edge uh, dash attack, similar uh, to what uh, Diddy has. Because there's no there's no landing flag after the last hit box is out, or there shouldn't be. So it's a relatively safe uh, off the ledge option. Cool. He got the balloon, but <laughs> he wasted his aura. Yeah, he's trying to use Aura to get in to like cross up Kirby somehow, but the thing is that Kirby just has to crouch. I feel like it's just kind of like Tuna hitting, trying to hit normals to contest him, and then it's not working. <laughs> Tuna's bringing this back though. He's definitely using the Lucario special abilities to uh, even it up a bit, kind of. Oh, he's just got to recover. Who yeah. does it a lot? Like he always ledge jump pairs. I mean, he always jumps back to hit you with a bear, but if you drop down in basketball, he. Doesn't hit you. Oh really? He actually catches me on that a lot. No, like he goes for. I don't know. It feels a little obvious. I think it's because Kirby's so slow in the air. Yeah. What he's going for? Because he always wants the. He always wants the bear. He never like. Unless he holds ledge. Oh no. Oh, he's absorbed Lucario, and now he has auras that are faster. I don't know. I don't, I don't know which aura ball he has. Does Kirby get like 3.0 auras? I don't know. Dude, that. That charge is a hell of. Oh no, 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 it's just the low charge. Yeah, yeah. It's just relative to size. It's yeah, oh, whoa, yeah. that's weird. Oh, damn. For it, though. Yeah, I think it's just. Messy. So, uh, down throw and up throw, I think, are DM except for Lucario. You need to DI them different ways. Mm hmm. Yeah. I'm thinking, I don't think at high percents anything will work, though. Uh, down throw, if you DI it in, you can take follow up. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. He, he got a down throw in the air really. Oh, okay. Well, all right. Let's see. I'm just wondering how Tony's going to use the aura to try to mess with Kirby. Tony's really good at using aura to uh, continue combos. I don't know if that was the best use of up B, but I think I think he's getting walled out too well. Yeah, Blue's also really good at uh, just keeping center stage and just keeping you off stage. There. His edge guard game is. It's there. It's like, really solid. Uh, he, he knows what to do, which is good. Also mixing it up with the uh, random uh, being to the side and then jumping and hammering. Uh, the hammer is... Uh, oh, I, think, I believe the hammer... Band cancel. The hammer is brutal. It has very little end like in the air. Yeah. Kirby. And it, the worst part is that it sends at two different angles, and I keep forgetting which angles send at which. Uh, the beginning one sends... 
The ground one sends up. Oh, it sends relatively up. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the air ones send out. Yeah. Oh, I don't know any Kirby that actually does sight be on the ground, though. He's done it before. Um, ostrich glue. Oh, really? He did it the tech phase ones. <laughs> <laughs> that probably only covers one option, though. Yeah, attack in place. Yeah. Or no tech, I guess. Yeah. I mean, it does a lot of damage. I'm amazed. Actually, can you, can, with Kirby, do you think you can jab, re, you can down throw, jab reset, and then hammer? Probably. Because that'd be a really good. Uh, but then yeah. again, uh, move refers to uh, forward smash instead, or yeah. down smash, because it's, it's faster. Really, they're, they're both faster, but I wonder if you can actually get away with hammer. Probably can. test that. Because hammer is also safer because it sends at a upward angle, so you can't tech it. Yeah, it's unlike really whole, strong. Unlike F smash and down smash. Yeah, you get opposite tech those. Can I get Fritz, All right, Fritz so ban on, on the FD and Pokemon uh, Stadium 2, so yeah. no kills off the top uh, early. Ooh, I don't know if he's going to switch to uh, FOD and use Pikachu or something. Ugh. I don't know. Tuna, Tuna uses a lot of characters, I just don't. Tuna uses mainly uh, Lucario, Yoshi, and Pikachu, right? Yeah, so let's see. Let's see where he goes. I might switch to Yoshi or Pikachu. Yeah, probably Pikachu. I've actually never, I haven't seen this Pikachu in a while. Uh, last time I played me at SD a lot. Uh, <laughs> like more than I killed with Bomber. Well, let's see how this goes. I mean, Pikachu, let's see, Zelda dies at maybe around. I told you, he has these a lot. <laughs> so, like I was saying, Zelda dies probably around, I think, 80% uh, against the Pikachu. Uh, I don't think so. I'm, I'm thinking PS2. Oh, yeah, probably. So Kirby will probably die maybe around 85. On Smashville, it'll be a little higher. On Smashville, no, Smashville is I'm, I'm only to bet units lower. I'm only to bet 85. Uh, the thing is that Kirby is, uh, he's heavier. He's lighter than Zelda. Well, he's lighter than Zelda. Way lighter than Zelda. He's so the dark is actually, though. His gravity is actually almost the same, and so it's weight and gravity that matter. So Kirby will actually die probably around the same time as Zelda, so probably around 90, 95. Fast spawn is uh, Moose DI as well, because it can come out of nowhere and you can't really anticipate it sometimes. Ooh, Catching good. the side B. Yeah, it's not it's not looking too good for Tuna. He's not even got him to the up smash yeah, I, I, don't, I don't think he understands how to like combat Kirby neutral. It's kinda strange, like if you don't understand like what he's doing, then you can't really fight against it. Yeah. And Moo is a really solid uh, mix-up game just when it comes to approach options. Yeah. Uh, but when he finds something that he likes, he just sticks with it. Um, so, man, I, I wish I could uh, I wish I could explain exactly how I deal with Moo, but the way I the problem is the way I do it is with Dins. Oh, I, I just camp him. I'm just like Dave. <laughs> it's Thomas. He's not even at a hundred. Up Smash will kill though. I yeah, that's pretty true. Yeah. Yeah. There we go. See, the, the way you do it is you you add space to the fair. It's really hard. If the fair is quite disjointed, but you, if you outspace it, then you're fine. And then whenever he hits you on shield, you want to wave dash back. Because mm -hmm. he'll whip a move, and you can possibly grab him, or you'll be back in a neutral position where he has to approach Because his approaches are safe on shield, but they are still a risk. You can still... Uh, you have out of shield options. Um, for example, Zelda can up the out of shield uh, to a... She has like a two frame margin to yeah. deal with it. So uh, Pikachu might be able to actually like uh, up smack out of field possibly. Oh, possibly. I don't know how fast Pikachu's up smack. It's probably, I think it comes up as, it's probably like frame five. So it's probably pretty fast. The problem is dealing with moves bears is that, you know, your Pikachu, you don't have the disjoint yeah. to, you have up, you only have, you have bear. I think he needs to play with his speed more than he needs to play with his normal. Speed. Yeah. He's also letting Kirby just, uh, uh, he's, like, Tuna's just letting uh, Moo just come back down. Uh, he's letting Moo play his game. Like, yeah, that too. Oh, that's nice. He's keeping, I don't know, Tuna's starting to do things a little more right. He's keeping his space, letting it Kirby approach him, because, and just on the platform. So this is actually not half a bad strat, honestly. It's working to a fair extent, see? It's got him a whole stop. Yeah, it's not, he's not dead yet. He's not dead, but I mean, oh, it's, oh. it's a, Fairly yeah, effective this strategy. Looks so lame. <laughs> this looks so lame. Yeah, you gotta do it. You gotta do the win, man. That's how I beat Moo. Oh. 
Oh, oh no, he'll make it back. It's really hard to counter Pikachu's up B. Yep, back here. Solid, relatively solid stock. If it can bring it back, it's pretty good. But yeah, just forcing Moon to approach uh, from a diagonally upward angle is a surprisingly good strat. Because Kirby has really slow air mobility, so he always wants to fall down. Yeah, I'll go towards you like relatively straight. So if he's trying to go up and try to chase you, he, he's not going to be able to chase you in the air like you do up there. It's, it's also that his, for his very fair, his feet are actually below him. So yeah. he has to come up, so he risks uh, putting his hitbox in the way to get to Pikachu. Uh,